Hey, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware, and I'm here with Michael from Lenovo, who has a new ThinkPad X1 carbon model on display here at IFA Berlin. Michael, what do you got here, bud? So this is the new 13th generation X1 carbon Aura edition. Okay. Inside is the new Ultra Pro Series 2 processor from Intel. Okay. Otherwise known as Lumalink. Yep. Very powerful, great performance, helps with uh, battery life, mm -hmm. so you know, it's best of both worlds. Um, also, it runs really quiet and really cool, mm -hmm. um, so better performance, but even cooler and quieter, so really, really good. A um, couple of other thing, new things on this product is um, we have better audio. We're using sounds on now, so we have high res audio. Okay. Bigger speakers, so the sound is better. Um, and one other good feature is we've now added a durable battery, so a customer replaceable battery. Customer serviceable battery, yeah. Right. So wow. You don't need to send it off to your you know, uh, service provider or depot in order to get it repaired. You can order a battery, replace it in about five minutes. Okay. So, how about how about weight? Is this this thing has gotten a little bit lighter, right? The best to last <laughs> is this is now some one kilogram. Okay, which means it's under two point two pounds. Okay, so it's around two point one seven pounds. Okay, um, so the X One Nano was a thirteen inch. Yep, uh, this is a fourteen inch, but weighs exactly the same. Wow. Okay, but really light. So everything is packaged together beautifully to get the most powerful, the longest lasting X1 carbon that has been out there. So we've got a couple new features in these machines as well, right? Something about Aura. What's that all about? Yeah, so the Aura edition imagined with Intel is, as I explained earlier, we've worked with Intel. We've worked with Intel getting on basics, right? Such as cool, quiet, great battery life, right? Mm -hmm. The Lunar Lake CPU helps us with that. Yep. Then also we're trying to elevate the experience of the PC. Okay. And that's what the Aura Edition does. So the first one we've done is uh, we have smart modes. Right? Okay. We have a button for that. Um, and if I press that, you'll see a little widget that pops up. Okay. And there are five features on the, on the modes. One is shield, and that is to help you protect uh, your information. So for example, if I turn on shield, when I'm in a coffee shop, mm -hmm. it will ask you to join a VPN so that your Wi-Fi is secure. Got it. It also will turn on um, privacy guard, which detects anybody overlooking the shoulder behind you. Oh, neat. Green, right? Okay. Attention essentially lets you focus. Um, so what it will do is it will turn off access to like uh, social media sites mm -hmm. like Instagram, Facebook, so you won't get in the pop-ups. Okay. We'll also put the the toast into do not disturb. Okay. So you won't get any to any uh, pop-ups there. Okay. So you can 100% focus on the task at hand and you can set a timer. So if you want to know, you set that timer for an end. Got it. Collaboration. This is when you're on a video call. Um, there's a low light enhancer, so it make you look better if you're in a low light environment. There is um, um, smart framing. Okay. So if you tend to be a person that moves around a bit, it will follow you. Track you, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then there's background glow. Okay. Um, and then the wellness is to spend a lot of time looking at our right? And so there are two things in there. One is eye care. Mm -hmm. So every 20 minutes, it'll ask you to look 20 feet away. For 20 seconds. Oh, wow. So your eye muscles will yep, relax in. a little yeah. bit. Yep. Uh, and then the other one is posture. So to make it be like your mother telling you to sit up. But, uh, <laughs> sit up straight, dang it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and then the fifth one is power modes. And this just allows the user to easily switch between the different Windows power modes that already exist, right? But we've exposed them because they've worked previously hidden. So if you were on a, like a long flight to Asia or something like that, you could pop it into eco mode. You could watch, you know, 15, 18 hours worth of videos, whatever it is. Sure. And then if you were going to work on a, a really 
you know, CPU intensive, like spreadsheet, graphics, like Sorry, like video, like, whatever. Yeah. You could run it in performance mode. Sure. Uh, and then just pop it back to balance when you want it to. You know, that's such a simple, thoughtful feature. Like, why can't we have that in Windows all the time? Thank you for inventing it. <laughs> all right. And then um, what about what about tap? I heard something about tapping things. Yeah. So we have uh, two more. We have Smart Share. Okay. And this is um, a feature where you take a picture. Uh, on your phone, for example, and then you would just tap it and it will pop up it's on the screen. Okay. And then what I can do is I can either take that over to the um, desktop, I can then edit it, or if I happen to have a application already open, like um, Paint, or I'm just going to use a snipping tool here, Paint, PowerPoint, Adobe, mm -hmm. I can just drag it in there. And then, and then I can start editing it straight away. Oh, excellent. Right, right from your phone, you drag it into the app. Right. Got and it. And if I, when I finished editing it, I can drag it back from wherever it is, or if it's on the desktop or the file manager folder, I can just drag it back into the phone if I want to. So you have it there as well. Right. Got it. And then and that works with Android and iOS. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And then lastly, um, <laughs> We have uh, it's smart pair. Okay, so this is all about. I'll open this up here. Uh, this is built into Lenovo Marsters, and this is about mm. providing um, personalized support experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, if you want to speak to an expert straight off the bat, mm -hmm. you can. You can either. Have a video call, see them, look them in the eyes, okay, face to face. All right, like you're in a virtual um, support office or something like that. Okay, you can um, chat with them over the phone, okay, using your PC, so a voice over IP chat. Okay, um, you can chat with them over, you know, just typing, mm -hmm. like a lot of applications we saw today. There's a chat bot as well. Okay, I've seen. Okay. Um, and then also there's a knowledge place where oh, we should if do you're this. And I would like me, I like to decide what you know, look up stuff and things and, and yep. understand stuff. You can yep. just type in like my camera's not working. So. Traditional knowledge based search, yeah. Traditional yeah. knowledge based search. But what happens if my PC doesn't turn even turn on? Okay, that's right? a problem. Yeah. So I have we have an app that runs on iOS and Android. Okay. Okay. All right. And you have the same features. So you can chat or you can call, you have a knowledge base, you can support different devices, you can search and then wait. Okay. So if you're on a call, for example, yep. and then turn on the camera and show the operator at the other end. What's going on? Yeah. What's going on. yeah. So it's linked to your PC. Yes. Very good. Cool. Is that Those are all the Oryx I could experience also be from my desk again, we're trying to elevate the, the PC experience for our customers. Oh, very good. good stuff. What about display? Um, you have different uh, resolution displays. So this one we're launching in November. We'll have a two point eight K OLED. Okay, OLED, nice. Yep. It helps with making it sub one page. Yep. Um, and then just in the new year, we'll be launching uh, another studio with a touch. Uh, LCD touch nice. And I noticed there's two types of track pads here. There's one model with the traditional track and, and right and uh, left uh, mouse buttons. Um, what, what, what are the differences there? Yeah, so this is something we introduced on the 12th generation. Um, so if you are a traditionalist like I am, where you like to use the, the track point and the track, pad, track point buttons, mm -hmm. um, you can still do that. Um, but here we have a haptic touch pad where, again, you can use the touch, the, the track point and use these um, as a traditionalist. But if you are a newcomer to ThinkPad, you don't know really know it was, it's not familiar with this. You can use a hundred percent of this area in our track pad, so you're not compromised at all. And and some people are actually hybrid users; they use both at the same time. Okay. And you can also use that as well. Okay, so above the line, you've got right and left mouse mouse click Correct. functionality for all intents and purposes. 
feature in the middle of those you know, little buttons, those numps there. Got it. Got it. So that is the new ThinkPad X1 Carbon powered by Intel Core Ultra 200 V series processors coming in November, right? November, November 2024. And do we have a price range? 1999. Starting at 1999. 32 gig, 16 gig. 32. Okay. Ultra 7. Great. Sounds good. Hey, Michael, thanks very much. We appreciate the tour.